So we're here to discuss when you need to set up for an A-line or a central venous pressure monitoring. The items that you will need to grab in order to prepare for this is a pressure bag, 500 cc bag of normal saline, a cable that will hook into the monitor for the GE monitor for your A-line and central venous pressure. It's the one with the red um, part that plugs into the monitor. And the transducer um, kit, which is looks like this and the tubing will be in there. You're going to then open up the kit, which will have your tubing. The tubing has an end like this where you can spike your bag of saline and the end of the tubing, which is the hard part of the tubing, that's the pressurized system that's gonna get hooked up to the monitor, to the patient and then transduced with the cable to the monitor. I'm gonna now spike my bag. When you spike your bag, please make sure that when you are done spiking that you take all of the air out of the bag so this way you don't get air into your line. And then you can leave your spiked bag. You're going to take that bag and stick it inside of your pressure bag. And you're going to hook it onto the little spot in the bag so it hooks there and then hold that please. You're now going to keep the um, transducer here in the off position to air so that when you squeeze and pump up your bag, it's going to inflate the bag. As you inflate the bag, you want to make sure that you inflate it to at least 300 millimeters of mercury, which will be labeled on the bag when in the green section as soon as um, I have enough air in the bag. When you are at the level of having enough air in the bag, you'll notice it gets more resistance in order to add air to the bag. You're going to take the transducer and put it in the off position up to the bag so that this way it keeps the air in the bag. Later, if you want to deflate, you're going to take this um, transducer and turn it all the way down to the balloon portion and that's where you'll hear the air hiss out of the bag and it will deflate your bag. Next step, you're going to make sure that your um, tubing has some volume from you pressing the chamber. You usually want it halfway full. Then you're going to take your tubing and you're going to, this portion here is the fast flush. When I squeeze that, it's going to actually flush the rest of the catheter. That's how you're going to prime your line. When you're doing the priming of the line, make sure that all your stopcocks are in the right direction in the off position to um, the phlebostatic um, access area where you when you would be leveling for your patient this way you can flush the line properly okay this portion here we're going to now um, set up where you put it into a holder or for other units that don't have the holders you're going to put it um, uh, tape it against the patient and that way you can level properly okay thank you Jess. Perfect. Now what you're going to be able to do is take this portion here and you're going to connect it with the tubing. Kelly, can you grab the tubing and just demonstrate how you connect? Just in the other end of the tubing in a second. Perfect. Or actually you have it here. You're going to plug into the monitor, into the red portion on the monitor. Okay. What that's going to do now is put on the monitor for um, central venous pressure or um, arterial line. You're able to actually change that by scrolling over and clicking on that setting, whether it's CVP or A-line. And when you click in, scroll over to change name. This is how you're able to change it from arterial to central venous to femoral to intracranial pressure monitoring. Once you choose the item that you want, be my patient, you're going to now come over to, your, uh, to the transducer and you're going to make sure that when you do this, that you are um, sorry, this is upside down. That you are able to know that it's right side up. So to know it's right side up, the patient tubing should be on the top. The tubing to the bag should be on the bottom, and you'll know because where you squeeze is down located on the bottom. Up here is where you level to the patient. So next step would be to level to phlebostatic access. Okay, so you do leveling first, which should be mid-axillary line in between the fourth and fifth intercostal space. Once you have it leveled properly, which you can move up or down based on patient um, position, then you're going to take the transducer here and you're going to, on your monitor, turn to the arterial um, pressure, click in, and scroll over to where it says zero art. 
I'm going to now take the transducer and turn it to the off position so it's off to the patient. I click on the monitor, zero art. I should then see zero, zero on the screen. I perform a fast flush, and then I turn back to the off position to atmospheric air. That is how I would then zero my A-line. And now you should see a, a waveform that comes back on the monitor, and you should then get a pressure reading on the monitor for your systolic, diastolic, and your MAP. Same concept if it was a central venous pressure monitoring, you'd follow the same steps for leveling and zeroing for setup.